The most severe complication that can occur with esophageal dilatation, particularly those that aren't experienced with it, is a deep tear. And the deep tears are very painful. They're not a perforation. A perforation theoretically means there's a hole in the esophagus. And if you have a hole in the esophagus, you're going to need surgery. These are not perforations. They're deep tears. They hurt, can be very painful. And basically, we admit the patient to the hospital for two, five, seven days, have them on antibiotics, uh, you know, nothing to uh, eat my mouth. Uh, in the literature, there's been no cases of deaths associated with esophageal uh, dilatation and no cases of patients that have needed surgery. Other things that can happen sometimes, uh, rarely you can get bleeding, uh, particularly if you're on anticoagulants, uh, an occasional episode of uh, infection. But overall, the risk of dilating patients with eosinophilic esophagitis done by people who know what they're doing is no different than dilating any narrowing in the esophagus. It's really a, a misnomer, and it really bothers me, it really concerns me because this is such a helpful procedure for patients.